I would not be lying if I tell you all one thing that my alumina, each one of them, have become better, more evolved beings just by understanding Mukshpat, even if they are not using it day by day. How many of you think anger is bad? Kis kis ko lagta hai gussa bura hai? Raise your hands, please. How many of you think anger is very bad? Only Surekha ji thinks anger is bad. Nobody else thinks anger is bad. Why? Uh, yes, Rashim, good. Why do you think anger is not bad, Dr. Archana? Thank you, Nidhi Madhuji. At times, it is needed to make but the But do you really use that. it when it is needed? Or do you Why use not? it all the time? Do you use it all the time or do you use it when it is needed? When it is needed. At times, I have to do artificial anger also. Anger show karna padta hai. Not all the yes. time. Yes, yeah. karma. Um, anger for me had always been uh, for me channelizing. It, it, it used to either control me and then the after effects used to be like something that I would not actually anticipate or want in my life and then slowly, steadily I started detaching myself from the situation. And uh, what, how detach? What, what was the first step towards detach that led to detachment? Rather, um, taking a step back. Stop. No, it was a stop what and start was, method. No, no, stop and start method. Tha, wo technique hui. Yeah. But what was the first thing that helped you detach? Detachment me kisne help kiya? Aha pe aao. See, guys, what all of you are not realizing the first step to overcome or channelize any emotion is to realize the problem that this is a problem in my life the second step is to accept it ki ye mera hai. and then only you move beyond it you transcend it uske upar mastery paana so, jin logo ne bhi itna gussa manage karna sikha hai unhone ye step by step liya hai kahin na kahin unrealizingly you cannot go into the space without moving on there's no way yes garima quickly uh, it was about taking responsibility i actually at one point in time realized that everything that is happening to me even the unwanted circumstances that I am landing myself in is not somebody else's wrong or fault. It was my own thing that I am attracting to those things because it was my responsibility. It was my idea to detach myself from the situation and then got your answer. Got your answer now. So realization, acceptance and transcending. And this is what Mokshpat is about on a personal sphere. Realizing which energy is playing what role in your life, knowingly, unintentionally, unintentionally, all spheres. Because a lot of times, we know things and a lot of times, we don't know things. For example, for those people who have not mastered their anger, the anger uses them. For those people who have mastered their anger, they learn how to use the energy of anger in the right place. But kabhi kabhi aaj bhi gussa aa jata hai and you can't control it. Maybe one out of ten but it happens. So mokshpat kya hai? Mokshpat as a game, mokshpat as a board is what? Understanding these 72 consciousnesses, levels of consciousness, levels of energies, how they influence your life, aapki zindagi ko ko kaha influence kar raha hai, kaise influence kar raha hai aur usko transcend kaise karna hai, uspe mastery kaise haasan karna hai. So the minute you master something, you can channelize it in whichever way. Instead of that emotion, that thought, that energy using you, you learn how to use it to your benefit. But Mokshpat can give you the guidance. Mokshpat can tell you, ye energy hai, isko aise use karoge to ye result. But, kaam kisko karna padega? 